Welcome to the Walk Shop. Today we'll be seasoning walks, walks for all seasons, and walks for all walks of life. We'll wash it thoroughly with plenty of hot water and a little bit of liquid detergent. At this point you can use something that's abrasive. Make sure you just wash it thoroughly. I just use a paper towel. It's thoroughly dry now. For the walks that have a, the handle, the see helper handle and the side handle, this is totally removable by just unscrewing it. We removed it. Now let's pour a little bit of cooking oil. I'm using, today I have peanut oil, but if you have vegetable oil, that works fine. Canola oil also works fine. If you have a Crisco shortening, that works beautifully. Now we're just going to coat this lightly, not saturate the wok. We're going to coat it in and out. Not to worry if you have some residue on your towel, that's all going to bake away. With this wok that has a stationary handle, we're going to use a damp dishcloth to cover it so that it'll protect your handle while we bake it in the oven for 20 minutes. I just have this little, this damp towel and I wrap it around the handle and I will cover the, this towel with aluminum foil. That'll totally protect this because we're going to bake it in a hot oven of about 425 degrees for 20 minutes. Get a piece of foil, cover it, your handle will be protected. We're going to place it in the hot oven, 425 degrees, upside down, so nothing collects at the bottom. Now we're going to bake it for 20 minutes. It's 20 minutes now and I'm taking it out of the oven. Oh, it's beautiful. And I'm gonna take it to the stove where we're gonna stir fry some chives now. We're gonna stir fry these chives as part of the seasoning process. I'm pouring a little bit of peanut oil. You can use any type of oil, just a little bit. I probably put only one tablespoon. The wok should be preheated and hot. And we'll just throw in a handful of chives. Chives work best, but if you don't have chives, any pungent vegetable will do. You can use scallions, green onions, of course, garlic, and ginger. Stir fry until charred. And as you stir fry, use your wok spatula. The contour shape does make a difference. We'll rub the chives up and around the sides so that all that will season also. The chives will remove any metallic taste your wok has and get it ready for stir frying. And remember, the more you use your wok, the better and blacker it's going to get. You can see that the wok is getting a nice seasoning. This can be done on any stove. Of course, I'm cooking on a gas stove and I'm using a flat bottom wok. But with your round bottom wok, same result with a wok ring to stabilize it any wok that you prefer. They'll all have to be seasoned and the seasoning results will be just like this. You can see how it's... Now you're going to stir fry the chives or your pungent veggies until charred. And then you're going to toss the chives out and wipe the wok clean and it's ready to go. Look at that beautiful seasoning. This wasn't even two minutes, I don't think. Now we're going to remove the chives. They're charred and your wok is seasoned beautifully seasoned. Wipe it clean and your wok is ready to stir fry, ready to rock and roll. 
This particular walk is very popular, especially for students and especially for those that have stoves that are not real powerful. This is flat bottom with an enamel back. This is cast iron in the inside. This one just requires a little bit different seasoning and it's a little quicker. For those of you especially with no ovens, we'll just start seasoning it right here on the stove. Put this, this wok on the stove, get it hot, preheated. Use your little oil can. This is a wonderful oil can. It just pours out enough. I'm probably pouring just about a tablespoon of cooking oil. Preheat the oil. You always preheat your oil and preheat your wok. You never put food in cold oil. Now I'm going to throw in a handful of chives again. And we're going to use our wok spatula and stir fry. Now I do have, the, I have my flame on high. This is iron, and this is the Chinese way of seasoning. In China, they don't have ovens. So, but if you prefer, you can also season this in the oven. But if you do, reduce the heat to 350 and cover your handles with aluminum foil. Now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to, see, we're going to stir fry these chives until charred. Ideal for the electric stoves, your glass top stoves, your heat induction stoves, and your grills because this is flat bottom. Not available in round bottom. Perfect. The wok has been seasoned. Now I'm going to remove the charred chives just like I did the other wok. And then we'll wipe it clean. And your wok has been seasoned and it's ready to go. For those of you that have the traditional cast iron wok from China, here it is before it's seasoned. You'll season it the same way in the oven just like I did the carbon steel one. And here's the result after it's seasoned. It's beautifully, of course, the back side and front side. Now this has not been, we have not stir fried chives in it, but it'll get the same result. It'll be all blackened and all the metallic taste removed. Very easy, very simple to do. Now this is your hand hammered wok. It's all carbon steel. This is available with the wooden handle, the metal hollow handle, or the two symmetrical ear handles. You season it the same way, and here's your result. Now this one, I did stir fry the chives in it. See how beautiful it is? Top and bottom, all ready to go. Very simple. Just follow the instructions. For those of you that have a hand hammered wok that has a waxy film, you, there is an instruction sheet there that will tell you to fill with water up to the top and boil it for about 10 minutes so that waxy film will remove much easier than standing there scouring it away. Then wash it and it's ready to be seasoned. Same way, in the oven, 425 degrees, 20 minutes. For those of you that have the wooden handle, be sure you wrap the handle with a damp cloth and wrap that cloth with aluminum foil. Here's your results. How can you not cook with a wok? So simple, so enjoyable, and so easy, and so affordable.